All right, today I'm going to be showing a video about water. And I have, years and years ago, uh, for preparedness reasons, for other reasons, I bought a Catadyne. It's called the Catadyne Pocket. Now, this is a really good filter for certain things, but it's really poor for some other things. Let me show you a couple things. Uh, not we're not going to get the whole thing connected up. But here's some problems with the thing. So one, it's actually really big. I have decent sized hands, they're not huge, but compared to a clothes pen, right, it is very, very large. So the other problem with this particular filter, one, it's also very expensive. When I bought it, it was $199, but uh, to show you how long I've had it, now it's, uh, I think, uh, around 350 most places. Um, they're supposed to last for 10,000 gallons. It's got a, a wonderful ceramic cartridge inside. It's a, like I said, it's a really good filter, but it's really heavy too. I think it's 12 or 14 ounces. I wanna say it's more like 14, and that's, you know, filter. That's when you start adding on the tube bags and everything else, it's even worse. So because of that, um, because of the weight, the size, everything else and advances in technologies, I'm probably gonna end up selling this thing. I haven't used it hardly at all, so it's in really good shape. Probably get uh, some decent money off it uh, if I sell it. So I'm probably gonna sell it, but um, the reason I started looking at water filters is I'm getting ready to do a, uh, a backpacking trip. And to do a backpacking trip um, with a bunch of people, and I was gonna be the, the guy that did the water for everybody, this might be a great choice. The problem is, is that I'm not doing the water uh, for a bunch of people. I'm going by myself. It's going to be a solo trip and I'm going to go out in the woods and, and have some uh, alone, quiet time in the woods. And this is really overkill. I don't need that. Uh, and I recognize that, that I didn't want to carry that much weight uh, and I didn't need this kind of capability. So uh, I decided to start looking for other options. And what did I find? Started doing some research, um, looked some different places. What I ended up finding was uh, a company called Sawyer has released two filters. One is the uh, Sawyer Squeeze, and then there's the Sawyer Squeeze Mini. Um, I opted for the Sawyer Squeeze Mini, which we're going to be showing you today. So when you buy the kit, uh, it comes with the filter, and that's what this is. It comes with a cleaning plunger. Uh, where you backwash clean water through the filter to clean it out, clean the debris out, and a uh, sipping straw, and then a small bag. And in the mini, it comes with their smallest bag. I think it's 16 ounces or 12. I, I have to open it up to see. Uh, anyway, I don't find the bag particularly helpful or useful, so um, not really the point of the system of the bag, but... I, uh, I came up with uh, an alternative thing we'll talk about in a minute that I think is a really good way to use this filter. But the basic use of the filter, um, you've probably seen other videos on YouTube, you connect some sort of bag uh, of dirty water that needs to be cleaned, you screw that, that, uh, that bag full of dirty water into the top of the filter, the back of the filter, then the flow of the water is going to go down through here and come out this nozzle. So, and the idea is that you take the bag full of water and you squeeze it in. Most people I've seen tend to roll it in. Um, I don't know that it matters. I don't, I, like I said, I have just bought it. I haven't even really had a chance to use it much yet. So that's kind of how the system works. To clean it, uh, you fill the plunger up with clean water. You push it onto the end of the nozzle and it kind of squeezes on there and then you just plunge the, the uh, whatever starting to clog the debris starting to clog the filter and you, uh, you can just push that out uh, on their claim is that this is good for uh, 100,000 gallons of water and I I have no idea if that's accurate or not or if, or if it would last that long uh, I'd probably lose it Many people have said this, so I'm not the first, but I'd probably lose it or break it before I ran through 100,000 gallons. Either way, that's still pretty impressive. Um, 
So I bought it at REI for about 25 bucks. I think it was $24.95, something like that. They have it. I did see it at Walmart for about the same price. Uh, I did, just got it at REI because I was there picking up some other stuff. The sipping straw is useful. Um, you can take the dirty water bag, attach it, and then take the straw, attach the end of the straw, drink it that way. Um, you can, um, I don't know, I don't really have a huge use for the straw, so uh, not a, a huge reason to have it in my opinion. But it's there if you want it. Um, I mean, one thing you could do is, on the input side is another nozzle, you could attach the nozzle stick this directly into your dirty water source and you have like a survival straw type of thing. Um, and you just plunge that down in the water, pop the top, sip off the top and, and it would probably work. Um, I don't plan on using it that way, but if you were uh, doing like a get home bag or something and uh, you wanted that kind of capability, you could use that. But what I have, um, I don't really want to spend when I'm out there by myself spend a bunch of time trying to squeeze water, right? I got other things to do. I'm gonna have my dog with me. Um, so there's really just, there's, I just don't wanna stand there squeezing water. And where I'm going, I will have lots of water. Um, so I don't have to carry a lot, which means I'll have to process a lot. So what I did is I came up with, I don't wanna say I came up with, I saw another guy uh, on YouTube, and I, I can't remember who it was, who had a similar idea to this. I didn't have some of the same things he did uh, at my disposal as far as parts. So I went to local REI, bought some stuff. This is what I found. Pretty excited. I think it's going to work pretty well. So, let me move this out of the way. This and this. We'll just keep that there. So the way this basically works is I have a dirty water bag. Now this is a much bigger bag than what came with the Mini. Let me just show this so you see the size difference. Yeah, it's a 16 ounce. So when I'm processing water, I want to process way more than 16 ounces. So I got this. Um, well, I actually have had this for years. So, but it's just a plain old platypus bag. Nothing too special about it. The concept is you take the dirty water bag, you put it down in the water, you fill it up, and you go, and you screw this onto the input side of your Sawyer Squeeze Mini, all right? Then you take this side, and what I did is I went to REI, like I was saying, and I found um, in the uh, bladder, the water hydration system section, I found some tubing for Camelback. And I got this tube. And basically it's a replacement tube. Um, uh, it's a bite valve tube. On the end of this was actually a bite valve and I just kind of pulled that off. And this goes on to your hydration bladder. So what I did though is I'm gonna use it the other way. Take the uh, output of the filter, stick this on to the tube, or stick it into the tube, and then take this side and attach another platypus bag. And this time, I, it's I think a uh, 20 ounce. Yeah, it's a 20 ounce. one o'clock right now when I'm filming so my brain's kind of shutting down but the idea is is that now I have the water coming through the tube into the clean bag and I take that and I've attached some string on the top of my dirty bag and I hang the dirty bag from a branch a pole um, whatever it might be uh, around the campsite and I just let gravity do it for me and the water will start in the dirty bag and then go through the filter then out the filter through the nozzle through my tube into my clean bag. Then when I'm done with that, it's going to be hanging up. So then I just lift this up higher than the, uh, the dirty water bag 
unscrew it. I can drink from the tube. Uh, I can do whatever I want. Additionally, this actually will pop off. I can pull this off if I wanted to put this directly into um, water bottle, Nalgene bottles, that kind of stuff. I think it'd work pretty well. So one trick I had to figure out though was how to put the uh, the strap into the bag to hang it. So what I ended up doing is if you pull this up. Alright, so in my dirty water bag I I filled it up with air. And when you blow up the platypus bags, you'll find that when the bottom expands out, there's a section of the plastic that goes around, starts here, goes around to the other side, and same on the other side, which is what allows this piece to expand in the bottom, expand in the bottom. And if you take, I just took a, one of the little uh, punch tools from a Leatherman, and just kind of pushed it through, turned it around, cleaned it up a little bit. You could use like a uh, like a paper punch if you wanted. That'd probably be the best thing. And I just punch through uh, right through here on the edges. And then I just took some cordage that I had from years past, slid it through there, just tied a just an ending knot, um, just so it doesn't pull back through. And then I've got my uh, my way to hang it. There's other ways to do it, but that's uh, just a simple thing that I found that will work for me. Anyway, I'm pretty excited um, because for not much weight, um, I can carry however much of this dirty water bag I want and then fill the clean water bag and then just uh, put that into whatever um, water bottle I'm drinking from, uh, from day to day. Anyway, Hope you find that helpful, and uh, if you have any feedback, just put it in the comments, and have a nice day.